Hello wildlife watchers, my name's Emily. Today we're going to discover what animals live in towns and cities. Cities are often places filled with concrete, tall crowded buildings, pollution and cars, that it's hard to believe that any wildlife would live here. And whilst it might not compare to areas of the countryside, You'll be surprised that some animals have learnt how to survive really well in these urban jungles and there is often a lot more hidden on your doorstep than you think. Animals like hedgehogs, foxes, badgers and sometimes even otters if you live near a river come out at night. Whilst the city sleeps, they make the most of all the quiet streets and gardens to come out to play. During the day, you might find signs that these animals have been nearby. You might find clues like spotting some paw prints. Or you might find holes in the ground like this badger set, which is a badger's home. But how do these animals survive in towns and cities? A lot of them have adapted, which means they have slightly changed the way that they live from their natural habitat. Animals like foxes, as well as gulls and pigeons, know that they can find food really easily in the city from what humans leave behind. Another bird that has adapted to the city life is the world's fastest one. With speeds of over 150 miles per hour, the peregrine falcon has taken to calling the city its home. Their usual habitat would be tall rocky cliffs but the tall buildings in cities like churches are very similar and still allow them to swoop down to catch their prey. Often an unsuspecting pigeon which makes easy prey in the city. But life in the city can be tough especially when there isn't very much green space around. But there are ways to make things better. Across the city Patches of wildflowers are really important to attract our friendly pollinators like the bee. Cities can leave areas like the sides of roads and even roundabouts so that wildflowers can grow. School grounds and even your own garden can also help with this. And by helping insects, we also help the other animals that rely on eating them, like bats and birds. Right now I'm in the middle of the city of Exeter and right behind me is one of the busiest roads yet here I am in this peaceful, tranquil garden that belongs to Devon Wildlife Trust and here it is proof that wildlife can live in the city. Gardens in towns and cities are really important. If we were to add up every single garden it would make up a huge area all that has really good potential to look after wildlife. There are so many more exciting creatures that live in towns and cities. But right now, I'm going to challenge you guys, if you live in a town or a city, to discover what wildlife lives near you. Remember to look out for the little things. Look out for the clues that animals leave behind. And remember to look high up in the sky. I wonder what you're going to find. And if you want to help urban wildlife, why not get in touch with your local wildlife trust for ideas of how you can help in your own garden. Thanks for watching.